Okay, so last video we talked about Anissa Jomha, who is iDevs' wife, and how she called out the commentary community for quote-unquote not working a real job. Meanwhile, she does OnlyFans and sells her body on the internet. But anyways, she has responded and it is so bad. Anissa says faceless content creators are forced to make hate videos to stay relevant. Sad for content creators like that because especially the ones that don't have their face showing or anything because they're basically on a treadmill where they have to continuously make videos like that for anybody to care and then as soon as they stop making videos like that they're just fucked <laughs> and even if they do continue like people lose interest it's really hard to keep people's attention on your hate channel when there's like a dime a dozen doing the same thing Okay, Anissa, this video is going to be very hard for you to watch because I know you desperately want to think that our situation is so bad and we're one video away from falling off and if we don't make a video on you, we're going to go broke. But let me just drop a few quick facts here. So first off, I'm not faceless, all right? I do show my face as my second channel. Some people don't know this because this channel randomly is popping off by itself and there's lots of new people. But main channel is practice is okay and yeah, it's doing all right so somehow. Last video is a million views that's cool thank you for that but i'm just taking a little break there there's no rush i plan on making videos forever and i'm not gonna fall off like your cock husband she also said that we're on a treadmill and if we stop making videos on people like her we're just screwed but the fact is there's like a million people to cover and you're just kind of the most insane person right now so congrats on the top spot for about like a day also i assume that most commentary youtubers are well off it doesn't really matter if we miss a video or two because, you know, we have a whole library which continues to earn money. She also says it's hard to capture interest making commentary videos, but this is like my sixth, almost sixth year on YouTube and I think I'm fine. <laughs> In fact, I still love making the videos and, you know, I've been reading a lot of comments recently and people do seem to enjoy them. Also, how are you going to say that we do the same thing when you started in OnlyFans? Like, there's a bajillion <laughs> OnlyFans girls on the internet. How are you going to keep it interesting, huh? I don't know. I, there's not, you, you really pigeonhole yourself, like, heavily. And I think you, like, figure out probably, like, halfway through your career that it's not fulfilling or it's not like a good business plan uh and then you're just left with i don't know like how do you even pivot out of that oh my god you talking about a business plan is hilarious first off you took all the shortcuts okay you married a millionaire youtuber you started an only fans and somehow you're still struggling you couldn't raise money for charity you couldn't make a successful streaming career you're completely irrelevant your podcast is also irrelevant and your husband who's had a massive channel is falling off harder than a professional skydiver you absolutely suck at business and i don't know where she's getting this idea where we're all hanging on a thread about to go broke if we don't upload a video i don't know where this came from now I, I can't speak for everybody else but you know i've said it before i retired like two years ago okay when i was 21 i, I was lucky enough to make it at a very young age and i made some good investments as well so thanks to all the lovely people watching right now I'm pretty much set, okay? I just make videos because it's really fun to me. This is my enjoyment. I would not rather be doing anything else. I love shitting on dumb people like you. It is a wonderful pastime, okay? And making money is just a bonus. I would honestly do this for free. In fact, when I started YouTube for the first two years, I didn't make any money. I, I did it for free. And that's exactly how I, I treat it. It's like a hobby. Yes, they have to make videos and try to give their original take. Yeah. Yeah, their original take is it yeah <laughs> Lo loosely it's all kind it's same because if you do actually give an a take and it's not like the agreed upon like uh you know consensus of that group then you'll get lambasted yeah i mean if you're out here glazing anisa over this i would probably question your judgment now uh the stuff we talk about usually is pretty hard to disagree on like if a youtuber is scamming their fans do you actually want disagreement there like well actually uh logan paul is actually a good guy i also film dead bodies in a forest and scam my fans through crypto like if you're gonna disagree that logan paul is a scumbag i'm just gonna think you're brain dead okay and yeah, you know, there's sometimes there are topics where we do have 
different opinions if like the topic is more nuanced. But I think if somebody is clearly a villain, then agreeing doesn't make you an NPC or anything. Like even now, I think everybody agrees that you are just salty and molding. Faceless commentators took the bait. She continues her apparently 1000 IQ plan. I was like, oh, I really want to ramp this up and I really want to make this like a big like thing, right? Like very eventful, emotional. And I'm also just a very ranty person. Like people who know me in real life, I talk very passionately and very loudly. Um, and it's interesting because you have one side of the internet that literally thinks I'm shitting myself and like having like a mental breakdown. And the other side are people that are like, this was cathartic for me to um, listen to. There is no other side. I'm sorry. Where is this other side? Is Has anybody actually made a single video defending you? I'm sorry to break it to you, okay? But the ghosts you're seeing are not real, okay? There is nobody on your side, okay? The people in your chat are just reject sims who probably just want you to bend over and give a free coupon to your OnlyFans. You are literally having a mental breakdown over your own failures being pointed out. Please stop pretending you're some big brain mega mind who somehow baited commentary YouTubers because you deleted the VOD. <laughs> if you wanted the clips to go viral, you would not have deleted your VOD, please. That is so pathetic trying to argue that you, you planned this all out somehow. And even, you know, suppose in a hypothetical universe, like, oh, wow, she baited all of us into making videos on her. How is this helping you? <laughs> this is, everybody thinks you're a reject. <laughs> like every person in that community made a video being like i mean it's an opportunity for them right like they need videos to to make i saw one that was like um because after i was talking about how it's like funny the different reactions that people like bit for the clip because i mean that's the point right the point is to like have clips that people react to and share uh, and he was like mad but like trying to act like he wasn't mad about it he was like okay yeah i took the bait as if you aren't the most embarrassing person on the internet. He said camless to his fucking weird uh, followers. Oh, she is so mad. He said camless to his freaking weird followers. Bruh. Listen, uh, I, I don't know which one, uh, which commentary channel she's talking about here, but I think the weird person is the one showing their butt on the internet, not the guy talking into a mic here. I guess we just don't understand her high IQ. She was only pretending to have a meltdown. She was only pretending to say all these things that make her seem jealous and salty. I'm totally mentally sane, guys. Okay, so this next part, she brings up the charity event again and probably has the worst take ever. The thing is also, I think... I feel kind of bad for them because for a long time, like, we um, fully ignored it because there is a lot of pity there where it's like, we don't have to say anything. Like, this shit is fucking weird. And it is weird. But I think that they think that they're, like, smart or, like, awesome or cool or, like, very mean because we don't comment on it at all. Okay, Anissa, genuine question. Are you mentally okay? So you messed up a charity event. And people were asking, where did the money go? You know, because they expected large amounts of money to be donated to charity. So when you didn't deliver, people asked you where the money went. It's not a flex to stay silent, you absolute bab. Hey guys, I was actually ignoring everybody because I'm so above commentary drama. No. People thought you were committing fraud. It, it, it would be in your best interest to say exactly what happened because people legitimately thought you were doing something heinous or something. This is such brain damage. How do you respond like this? They don't, they, the funny thing is though, is that they don't actually get a lot of views. Like the one that video that I saw today, uh, they made a video about Frogan recently that got like 130,000 plus views. And my, the video that they made me got barely over 50k okay again i she never mentions which channel she's talking about she might be talking about sensitive society here but his video is also going to cross 100k soon so i don't know when you took that screenshot or whatever and and he uploads every single day so i highly doubt he cares what one video does but you talking about views Oh, no, 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 no. Ay, 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 guys. It's, uh, it's time. It's time to bust out the calculator because, you know, I think comparing views is really stupid. But if you're going to start talking like this, I, I think you need to put your money where your mouth is. 
Okay, let's start with her channel here. 88k subs, last stream has 6k views. All right, and her Twitch is obviously completely irrelevant. Her last video was from three years ago, so that doesn't really count. And the only video which crossed 100k was you regretting your OnlyFans. And this is all boosted as well, considering you're, you know, uh, the wife of a 7 million sub YouTuber. Now let's check on your boyfriend who used to pull like 10 million views a single video. Yeah, he's on 90k in four days. This is the biggest fall off in history. I never thought in a million years, like if you told me in 2016 that I'd be more relevant than iDubs on my second channel, brother, I don't even know what the heck happened to this guy. Then obviously we got their podcast called uh, She Ruined My Career. Great name, by the way. And uh, yeah, that's also struggling to break 2K views. I don't know how this woman is talking about 50K being less views when this is the status of all of your endeavors or whatever. It is actually crazy to me. 50K is good views, okay? I'm sorry, like any YouTubers watching, that's good shit. Keep it up, all right? Don't 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 let her get you down. So it's not even, it's really not bringing, it's very tired. No one gives a shit, especially like when it's the wife. Like nobody gives a shit about me. Like no, no one is like looking at that shit and being like, I want to click on it, <laughs> right? It's all, nobody's clicking on it. Nobody's clicking on my stream. Like even... Wait, I I'm sorry, who are you trying to roast here? Did you just say that nobody clicks on your stream? Yes, we know that. We know that you are completely irrelevant. Th that's the thing, like we're not using you for views. We're talking about com something completely random and we can get views using that, all right? It's like, you're not the reason these videos are doing well or anything, you're just another topic in the sea of a million topics here, all right? <laughs> it's not like we'd, we'd have no career without you. It's not like we're scrambling to get a video out or anything like that. You've just admitted that you're completely irrelevant and talking about you is actually worse for us, but we just do it because it's fun to see you melt down. Anyways, after this, she talks about Ian's content cops and how they were undeserved for some people. Just retroactively, you know, just ruining everything. Like Keemstar, obviously, like, you know, he did that to himself. But some of the other ones are like less so. Like Tana's, the, obviously, the Jinx was another big one that uh, was completely undeserved uh, in the sense of like that level of like hate. Um, okay, Tana was a massive hypocrite who deserved everything that happened to her. Also, wasn't Jinx the guy that would steal everybody's content and re-upload it for free on his channels? Like, basically stealing everybody's revenue? Of course the hate was deserved. There was an era on YouTube where people would literally take your exact video, just put their face cam over it, and that was the content, essentially. Like, if somebody steals my work, I'm gonna be mad. You have to at least say a goddamn word in the video to transform it, you know? You know, I've been seeing this theory going around that uh, Anissa ruined iDubbbz's career, right? She basically changed his views, she made him a cuck, you know, ruined his content. And honestly, I'm starting to see parts of it, okay? Because every single bad aspect of Ian has actually come from Anissa here. Now, I don't know the ins and outs of their relationship or whatever, but obviously it is still iDubbbz's fault because you can't change someone who's not willing to be changed. Like, for example, nobody could do this shit to me because, you know, I have a strong base. I have pretty locked in moral values and stuff like that so there's no only fans shit gonna come into my life and change me not heck no all right but ian obviously he had some shaky morals or something like that and she's obviously taking him to the dark side here but uh yeah it's a bit sad all these other commentary communities creators wait for the safe target the soft target the money making target what? What are you even on about? I upload like every day, bro. There is no waiting. <laughs> it's literally whatever is in front of me, whatever topic I feel like talking about, I will talk about. And um, it's definitely not safe targets. It, just last week, my video on Bobby Lee got striked and taken down by YouTube, all right? Because of Bobby fans molding and reporting it. I appealed it, it got rejected. Then I had to go on Twitter and, you know, contact YouTube. And then finally, it got put back up because, you know, I didn't actually do anything wrong. But safe target, you're crazy. I nearly lost my channel. Even, you know, I've been striked a bunch of times back in the day. Even Onision used to strike people all the time. These are not safe people to criticize. Oh, I don't know, like, why you're making fun of him. You're the one who's trying and failing at it. You're the one who's trying and failing at this. Every single word you say can pretty much be applied to yourself. You're trying like 50 things and failing at it. Honestly, you know, I encourage, you know, people to try things and fail at it, but 
don't try to act above people. Otherwise, you know, people are going to call out the skeletons in your closet. Also, if this is me failing at it, God, I love failure. A wonderful community getting to do what I love every day and making a shit ton of money while doing it. Well, yeah, we are failing, guys. Totally failing over here. This is so sad. Can we get one million likes? Anyways, Anissa, you need some serious, serious therapy ASAP. That's it, guys. Let me know what you think. I will 100% be reading all the comments. Last video's comments were pretty hilarious. So, yeah, see you guys next time. Bye-bye.